Glenn, lead pastor at New Vision Church on this Tuesday afternoon, uh, bringing a word of encouragement, particularly to my New Vision Church family that we love and miss so much, but also to the extended friends and family that we know around the world. I want to talk to you today about the importance of the Bible, the Word of God, as being a foundation in your life. Uh, we're encouraged to let the words of Christ dwell in us richly in Ephesians, to actually feed on the Word of God. It's described as both milk and meat, and it produces, just like the natural food, it gives us sustenance, it brings change, it brings transformation in our lives. Uh, when Paul is writing in the New Testament to Timothy, he talks about staring at the gift that is within him because he knows that through the gift of the Holy Spirit that ignites with the Bible, with the Word of God, that as Hebrews says, it's alive, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two-edged sword, even to the dividing of soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It's a discerning of the very thoughts and intents of the heart. It goes on to say that God sends His Word and it heals people. So meditating upon God's Word. When you read the Psalms in the Old Testament, there's a word often at the end of the Psalm that's the Asila, it means stop and meditate, reflect upon, allow God's Word to get in, not just into your mind, but into your soul and produce something special. Jesus knew the law and he would often refer to it, particularly when he was in difficult situations. So listen carefully to me. When he was tempted by Satan in Luke chapter 4, he would, when the temptation came and when the oppression or the opposition came, he would say, it is written. Uh, myself, I found through reading the Bible, through meditating, through memorizing the Word of God, that I can use it in everyday life. When fear comes, I can declare, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind. That perfect love casts out all fear. There's no fear in love. So when we embrace God, when we embrace the Bible, when we walk in the truth that will set us free, we see changes, we see breakthrough, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm going to be reporting to you again in a couple of days. I want to mention that we do have a powerful service planned for in this Easter week for Good Friday. We're going to have communion Easter Sunday. I'll be talking to you again on Thursday. In the meantime, we are praying for you. We love you. God bless you. Feed on His Word. It will change you forever. Amen.